believe me. When you've been locked up for one and a half years, then some days it all gets to be too much. Unfair or ungrateful. Feelings can't be shaken off. Riding a bike, dancing, whistling, looking around at the world, feeling young, knowing that I'm free. That's what I long for. But still I can't show it because just think if all eight of us started complaining or mopping around, where would that lead? I can't imagine at all that the world will ever be normal for us again. I do sometimes talk about it when the war is over. But then it's as though I'm talking about some castle in the air. Something that can never become real. Writing um, lets me get rid of it all. My sorrow disappears, my courage is revived. But, and that's the main question, will I ever be able to write something great? Will I ever be a journalist and a writer? Oh, I hope, I, I do so hope I will, because writing lets me register everything. My thoughts, my ideals, my fantasies. It is tragic, very tragic, that once again the old saying is proven right. What an individual Christian does is his own responsibility, but what one Jew does is a reflection on all Jews. Someday this terrible war will end. One day we will be people again, and not just Jews. There's only one thing I hope for, and that is that this hatred of Jews will be a passing thing. If God allows me to live, I won't remain insignificant. I will work in the world and for the people. And now I know that Courage and happiness are the things needed first.